In this video, I will be showing the tornadic activity predicted for 2010 in the United States. Um, this is, this here is, uh, map of the United States, and, uh, I have different color codes, and each one represents what kind of tornadic activity is forecast for this year. The pink areas right here, this purplish pink area, is what is, this is what they would call the true tornado alley. This is where the most tornadoes will be occurring during the year, right along this area. In this pink, in this pink, this is where the most uh, the, um, the most amount of twisters and potentially the most strongest twisters of the year could occur. However, um, it's not always the case of the strongest, but the most tornadoes are expected to occur in this pink area. The pink area stretches and includes most of Texas, most of Oklahoma, except. I did disclude the panhandle. The panhandle is just slightly less. Um, all of Kansas. Uh, hang on, let me do one little adjustment here. It's just a minor adjustment, okay. Let's see here. Alright. Um, and this includes a good portion of Nebraska, except the panhandle, towards Wyoming will be less. An extreme, very extreme, uh, southeastern South Dakota is in this pink. Um, far uh, western Iowa is in the pink. Um, northwestern Arkansas and southwestern Missouri is in the pink for this year. And then we have a wider stretch of red, and the red is fairly active amounts of uh, tornadic activity. Uh, my area is in this red, and I'll mark my area. Go ahead and put paint, paintbrush. Make a little white dot in my location. We're about right here in that white dot. But the red extends through a lot, most of the Midwest. It includes western Texas, far eastern New Mexico, panhandle of Oklahoma, uh, eastern Colorado, extreme, very extreme, uh, southeastern Wyoming's in the red, panhandle of Nebraska, southeastern South Dakota is in the red, as you can see up here. Southern Minnesota, all of Iowa, all of Mi all of Missouri except for the pink areas, both in Iowa and Missouri, all of Arkansas except for the portion that's in the pink, the top half of Louisiana, all of Mississippi, a good portion of Alabama except for this small part down here, the northern part of Georgia, into the north western south south carolina western north carolina all of tennessee most of kentucky except for the eastern part most of ohio except for the eastern part all of illinois all of indiana and southern far southern michigan is in the red and southwestern wisconsin is in this red. This is where uh, tornado activity will be pretty active in the months uh, April through June especially um, in the red. And then the yellow area is areas where somewhat there, there could be some activity this spring. Not a whole lot but some. Um, and we have Southeastern Arizona, uh, Southern Mexico, or Central Mexico, most of Colorado, Far Eastern Wyoming, 
far southeastern Montana, um, all of South Dakota except for this part, um, far southern North Dakota, um, Minnesota except for this white area, so part of Minnesota, all of Wisconsin except for the red part, um, all of Michigan except for up here and down here of Michigan, um, far eastern Ohio, far eastern Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, um, most of North Carolina, most of South Carolina, most of Georgia, and most of Florida except for the southern part, and uh, all of Pennsylvania, I don't know if I said that, and far, or just western New York, so this, the yellow area, oh, and southern, far southern Texas, and southern Louisiana is in the yellow. And then the areas in the white are areas where tornado activity this year will be quiet, and uh, most years this is how it looks like. This is how tornadic activity usually looks like most years. So, pink is, again, pink is the worst. This is the true tornado alley right here. This is true tornado alley. Red is fairly active, and yellow is some activity possible. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment.